And it's with great pleasure today, I introduce Dr. Todd Schroeder, who is an associate professor here in the Division of Physical Therapy, he, a Division of Biokinesiology and Physical Therapy. And he has been here for 21 years, it seems like only yesterday. And his research lab is the Clinical Exercise Research Center. Major accomplishments that he has had over the time that he's been here is his clinical research in androgen therapy helped to establish new indications for treatment of sarcopenia in older adults. But he has many other things he'll share today with his excellent lab. Please, Dr. Schroeder. Thank you, Dr. Mitchner. And uh, I, I wanted to uh, start off by saying I'm classically trained as an exercise physiologist by dabble in a lot of areas. Um, including sports science, endocrinology, and a lot of muscle physiology. And so we try and answer a lot of questions from the mechanistic aspect as well, um, but also looking at outcomes with clinical research. And my lab, the Clinical Exercise Research Center, utilizes advances in wearable sensors and technology to better understand the mechanisms by which exercise and anabolic strategies improve health, performance, and recovery in older adults to elite athletes. So we cover a lot of populations in clinical populations, different diseases um, as well. And I just wanted to list some of the current studies instead of focusing on just one line of research, but to give you guys an understanding of the breadth of research that's done in my laboratory with uh, the collaborators that I have. And uh, because some of you may be interested in collaborating or even utilizing some of the uh, equipment that we have. But one of the, the studies, the first one, the virtual reality integrated treadmill training for cognitive function. Uh, this is something that Malcolm Jones, my PhD student, is leading with his dissertation work. And it's really focused on a partnership that we have with Blue Goji, which is a virtual reality company. And they're very interested in, in how exercise combined with virtual reality uh, can improve cognitive function, executive function. And so Malcolm's uh, doing some great work leading that. And if you guys are ever interested in coming by and checking that out in the lab, you're absolutely welcome to do that. Um, we do a number of studies with blood flow restriction and uh, to improve recovery and performance. We utilize the Delphi system by Owens Recovery Science, recovery science as well as other uh, air, air bands, which are wireless uh, cuffs. But, you know, most people are used to using these as uh, kind of a recovery uh, rehab device um, with blood flow restriction. And uh, we've been working with different groups and trying to understand greater um, advances with blood flow restriction to actually improve performance where you use it prior to your activity to uh, increased post-activation potentiation of muscle. And so we have several studies going on with that, which is very interesting. Um, but classically, it's used for recovery uh, from like ACL surgery because you can use very lightweight, uh, low resistance and get similar gains to high weight training. Uh, we're doing studies with super maximal eccentric exercise to improve muscle function and stiffness. In fact, we just ordered a a new myometer which assesses non-invasively uh, stiffness of muscle and tendon tissue. And I know some of you might be interested in that and I should have it by May, but it's coming from Estonia and things are sketchy over there. So um, hopefully we can get it in May, um, but we'll see. And then we're also doing muscle biopsies uh, to look at the tissue changes in muscle for Titan protein and how that affects muscle stiffness. And I have on here, we do a lot of assessments with force plates, believe it or not, out of the exercise physiology lab for you biomechanists out there. We have a couple portable force plates and uh, do a lot of work with counter movement jumps and athletes and even in our uh, multiple studies we have to look at performance and fatigue. And, and uh, so we do a lot with some biomechanical aspects as well. We have uh, a transcutaneous, uh, electrical neuromuscular stimulation study for managing menstrual cramp pain. Uh, we're using the power dot for that and trying to show reduced use or no use of NSAIDs with menstrual cramps in women. And we're monitoring them over three months with the WHOOP biometric uh, watch. And so we get sleep habits and activity levels 
Uh, so we're going to have some great information with that. That's ongoing right now. I've done a lot over the years with hormones, uh, in particular anabolic steroids. We currently have a, a study with using a potent anabolic oral steroid called oxandrolone, and we've partnered with orthopedics to look at the potential for recovery from rotator cuff surgery if you take three months of this potent steroid. Um, and that study, it's ongoing too. We have multiple resistance training studies with supplementation from beta alanine, creatine, even lactate. Most of you think lactate's a bad thing. Lactate is actually used as a supplement now and can be shown, has been shown to improve brain function in people. So lactate is actually a, a usable uh, supplementation. So we've got studies going on with those. We have percussive therapy like the Theragun and Hypervolt we use for studies, uh, CBD for recovery in elite athletes, hot topic, as you know, uh, athletes will put uh, CBD lotions all over their body and think it's going to improve performance, but the data is not strong to support that. And the NFL is giving several million dollars to study the effects of that right now. Um, and then uh, we have a study with heart rate variability and high intensity exercise using a wearable sensor called BioStrap to really monitor heart rate variability, which um, you know, is a representation of stress of the sympathetic system on the body. And so we're looking at exhaustive exercise and that, how that creates stress over 24, 48 hour period of time. And we have a, a proposal for muscle soreness right now and looking at recovery. Uh, in Rams football players, we provide them with some data on is blood flow restriction or Norma Tech, which is a uh, basically sleeve, air compression sleeves, which one's better. They're very interested to know. And so we're working with them on that. And then we have a study on velocity-based training to improve muscle power that utilizes inertial sensors, EMG, and we're getting into biomechanics again, and force decks or the uh, force plates for that. So a lot of different studies. I felt it was important to kind of convey some of the studies that are going on in the laboratory right now. We collaborate with orthopedics, neurology, endocrinology, gerontology, human biology here at USC, and many different industry partners.